Hey, buddies! Potemic Whiskey here, and welcome back to Let's Play Europa Universalis 4 as Yemen. Now, roll up my sleeves here, which I should have done before the episode. I was running around my house getting things done. Uh, what we're going to do is chill the hell out here for a little bit. I kind of strategize. So, we're at peace with the Mamluks for what looks like... 14 years. We broke our alliance with Adal. We have a truce with them until... For another four years, basically. So, let's get started on building a spy network in Adal. Because we're going to want to start fabricating over here. Uh, in particular, we're going to want to try and get the Gulf of Aden provinces. Probably this is what we're going to focus on first, is getting these Gulf of Aden. Aden? Aden? Whatever that's called. Uh, in particular, I want these two provinces so that my empire is kind of linked up here. Uh, not isolated. Um, once we have those, we're probably going to try and maybe use Ethiopia as a uh, as a tool against them because Ethiopia has a lot of cores here. So what I could do is vassalize them. I assume. No, Ethiopia owns. Oh, I own their cores. Ah, okay. So they wouldn't accept. Not in the same religion group, Ethiopian government rank. Oh, they're an empire. Interesting. So maybe that won't work. That won't work. Fine. That's fine. That's fine. It's fine. You have some cores as well, but I already own them. That's okay. So it looks like we'll have to kick Adal's ass the good old fashioned way, just using our vassal swarm that we have. Speaking of which, is it time to incorporate one of our vassals? It might be time to incorporate Funge. 177 cost. Hmm. Do I want to incorporate Fars? Am I ready to incorporate Fars? I might be ready. I might be ready to incorporate Funge. Hmm. I guess Fars does not really have much in the way of... Um, claims, does it? Let's see here. Now, Fars hasn't been making any claims. Sind has some claims, so maybe we'll, maybe we'll start incorporating Fars. This will take quite a few years, six per year, thou a thousand uh, Diplo points, so that'll get us spending some of these Diplo points long last. We'll get them incorporated. And... Hmm. So we're incorporating Fars. We are taking bites out of the Mamluks. We are planning against Adal and the Mamluks. Those are our two main targets, so we're going to clean these up and then hopefully be able to turn east after that. Uh, perhaps even we could go for more of Africa. That could be a fun thing to go for. But I think I would be better served um, because of the way trade company directions work, or, or trade route directions work, rather. It's really hard to send trade back to, um, like, back up Africa. Whereas I could, I could, like, I could pull, I could probably go as far as here and pull that trade to Ethiopia if I wanted to. And that's kind of how I like to think about it. I don't, like... I don't like to just, like, grab land. I like to think about land as, like, trade, trade, usually trade, trade routes are, like, the most sort of important thing to me when I'm considering a long-term strategic war, because trade is just so profitable. That's why I'm going after the Alexandria node, and that's why I pushed up to here so that the Ottomans wouldn't have a direct land border and would be less, um, would be less hungry for these particular provinces. You can see they see them as strategic utility, um... But by closing them off here, I just need to get a few of these, and then they'll be less inclined to go for that. Now, obviously, they have a they have a few claims on my territory, as far as I can tell. Yeah, no, they still see these provinces as, like, they kind of want them. Which is, is reasonable. I mean, the Ottomans, it, it's definitely sort of land that could do them well. But I think I'll kind of, like, try to push them in the direction of going into Europe. Uh, so I have a costly trade embargo. So I guess I've lost the thingy with the Mamluks. Oh, not... Do I want to build a spy network there? Yes, I do, because I want to fabricate claims. What I want to do is I want to cancel the... Revoke embargo. Oh, I have no diplomats. 25 days till he returns. Let's go with that Adal has cancelled the right to military access. So we're going to revoke this embargo. As soon as this guy gets back. There it is. Excuse me. Wow, there it is. Now we can get another idea point here. We're 100% ahead, 10 years ahead, so I think it's a reasonable thing to do. It'll bring the price of my um, thing down by another like 2%, right? 
I believe it's 2%. Yeah, 2%. So it'll be a little bit cheaper. And we've got 10 years to build up points for it, which is nice. Uh, we have plenty of surplus income. Now, out of curiosity, are we getting our full fort maintenance thing? We are not. Damn it. I, need, I think I need to upgrade. Well, I have some forts upgrades in the works, but I think I'd need more forts upgraded or something. It's very expensive to do that, so I'm kind of, I'm a little bit hesitant, if I'm totally honest. I'm, I'm mild, mildly hesitant. Printing press has basically made it, which means global trade will be basically making it in, in my empire as well. Um, Adal is getting global trade. Have they embraced it? They've embraced global trade before they embraced uh, printing press, which is interesting. Our truce with Mushasha has ended. That's something worth considering once Fars is incorporated. We may want to see if we can snatch up some of that Mushasha land. And uh, let's see. Ah, yes. I wanted to make that into a core. And okay. All good stuff. Now, my absolutism is going up very, very slowly. And uh, it's something I definitely want to increase as much as I possibly can. So I'm going to want to harsh treat some rebels uh, to spend my points. Let's have a look. Multiple universities. So that's one I definitely want to try to do. So the the um, the Qin Dynasty or Manchu Dynasty gets some bonuses. Sweden gets bonuses. The Dutch gets bonuses and France. Ooh, land fire damage. Yikes. Uh, so absolute government. So you need some splendor for this. And I'm definitely multicultural nation. I'm going to promote Hejazi. And Omani. And Bedouin. And that should give me that objective. Oh, I need one more. How do I get another one promoted? In three techs. Well, promoted cultures are good. I was super tempted to go the homogenization route, where you go for um, religious ideas. I'm actually kind of looking forward to some of these uprisings. Speaking of which, can I do more autonomy reduction? I think I can. I want that, I want that absolutism to go up. So I'm going to trigger all the rebels, because I think I can handle them. I'm like pretty sure I can handle all these rebels. Speaking of which, uh, army-wise, let's go ahead and get started with recruiting another army. So we're going to start with the four Muslim cavalry. So we're going to make a little modular thing. So 12, 4, 8 divides by 4 as 3, 1, 2. Ah, oh, not mercenaries, sorry. As 3, 1, 2. That's the ratio we're using. This will be a building block. Then we're going to create a version of this that is 6 two, four. This will be the half block. And then, the, of course, the, um, the finisher is 12, four, eight. And this will be the full block. And this way, we can modularly build our army as we need. So right now I can probably just about manage a building block. Let's see, that's 10. Yeah, so I can, I can get a building block. Right over here. It seems like a good spot as any. We can compromise if we put some plans in motion. Okay, so Ottomans, we gain some Diplo power. And now I also need to check my revolt risk, which is this one over here. So let's move you into one of these provinces. Put you into there, put you into here, and then put you on drill mode, just to reduce the chances of uh, of uprising slightly. It's a, it's a little bit of an efficiency thing. It's not a big deal, but it'll... It'll make that difference, you know? It'll have an impact, even if it is relatively small. 
and takes this down to a more reasonable level. Yeah, once this is cored, we might even revoke autonomy in here to further push the thingy. Gain 50 support for global trade. Medina gets global trade. Excellent. Uh, incorporate fires. That is something we are doing. Poland. I think I'll go for incorporate fires because that's just like a nice little mission that I'm kind of working on. Disloyal estates. That's the dimmy. We do have a looming disaster, but that should go away in this year when we get the recruited minister on the 4th of March to go away. So we should, I'm not worried about this right now. And Age of Absolutism. So I need one more culture to be promotable. Lentiful Army. Mm. I think the one I can pull off the earliest is the university. So let me get that in my capital. Nice one. We got some patrimony increased. And the nice thing is that because we have a lot of this, this isn't costing us much money. I mean, it was costing us a little bit, but now it's costing us even less. So let's start to fabricate claims here. Oh, the Ottomans are at war. Uh, Ottoman conquest of Van against Mushasha. Do you have any claims here? No, you don't. So we will accept this call to arms. We'll move one stack over. This stack can stay drilling. I'll recruit another general. And I will put you to drilling. You'll have a very small chance of actually upgrading, but that'll be okay. You're mainly just drilling for funsies, really. These ones are drilling to try and get their drill up. Which is one of the only reasons to do drilling. Aha, uh -huh, okay. Lots of cores coming through. Very nice. Exciting news. So that's core, 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 core. Let's see, what's left in the core side of things? We have no overextension. Adal announced me as their rival. We have a little bit of unrest in here. Let's have a look. We can make states. So Tabuk and Transjordan are going to be prioritized because they are full estates. Excellent. So, once we fully core this land here, what's, the, what's this going to cost? What's this going to cost me? And you know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to put an edict in here. This is going to be a monthly autonomy change edict. Might not seem worth it. But it'll get this down to a reasonable... Reasonable levy level. Oh, I can't decrease while at war. But yeah, this will help tick this down. And I want to have low autonomy because that makes it more... Uh, more reasonable to keep my empire together and, and functioning well. I've got fairly high autonomy right now, whereas the other one's got a much better deal in terms of their autonomy. My autonomy is okay, actually. If I'm if I'm really like looking at it, a bit of yellow here and there isn't so bad. That's mostly just like regular old. Whereas over here, for example, this is pretty rough. As is this. Yeah, the Sufi the Sufi shrines are really hurting. Yeah, you can see that the prosperity helps the Sufi shrine. <laughs> Yowzers. Tell you what I'll do. In Mecca, I'm going to do monthly autonomy change to try and bring that down slowly. I think it is really hurting me. Uh, yeah, the 68%. So we're going to we're gonna start bringing down the autonomy in some of these places. I think peace helps, but we need better autonomy. There's probably a Sufi shrine over here as well. Yeah, there it is. Anyway. Let's, uh, let's bounce along here. We've spent kind of a bit, of, a bit too much time there fiddling about with different buttons. But yeah, we're getting closer and closer to a level where we'll be able to make some really, really interesting decisions. Now, I could go ahead... This is obsolete. I could go ahead and start getting some of these regimental camps. And that would sort of start to push me in towards 
the potential for the large army thing. But I don't think I could really support that. Okay, so... Expansion of the Qatar Madrasa. This will hurt it temporarily in some ways, but boost it temporarily in other ways. So that's Qatar. Qatar is over here, right? Yep. So if we contribute, we get 10 prestige no matter what. But if we do this, it'll get strong. And now it'll be cheap to upgrade as well. If I were to build a university here as well... Take me 12, it'd take me a year. Uh, local tax modifier. Yeah, I'll go, I'll go towards this. I'll lose a little bit of prestige. Shorten the training. 90,000 manpower. We can afford to lose 90,000 manpower right now. We'll go local development cost here. And then we'll be able to do a little bit of investment over here, maybe in terms of points. That could be fun. But yeah, we need universities. Although I want to be, I want to be careful not to get too many of them. And now I believe I need to have three of these objectives completed. So I think I can do multicultural nation, um, multiple universities, and then I don't know what the hell else I'll do. But six points now means foreign core duration is reduced. My admin efficiency is going up. I'm trying to remember what admin efficiency does. I was meant to look it up, but I've forgotten it. I think it has to do with overextension. Yeah, you can see there. There's a bit of combat going on, so let's kind of get this army going. See if we can sit in this fort here, which will hopefully, uh, hopefully provide defensive bonuses. We have... Okay. Neo-Sufism and traditionalist reaction. This is in Bengal. Many among the ULM are increasingly unhappy with the Sultan among pious Muslims. Our incursions of heathens, the high office, as well as the adoption of heathen customs and traditions is viewed with scorn. The intrusions of the state on interpretation of law and traditional domains of the ULM have also not earned any state friends among the jurists of the realm. Charismatic sheikhs of Sufi Nazikhbadi have ordered... Have Order have begun to agitate against the state what they consider a wrongful and sometimes sinful implementation of Islamic law in our realm. So this is Neo-Sufism. Interesting. Lose ducats. Trade efficiency, national you know. Mm. So de debasing my currency now actually hurts me quite a bit. I may take a loan here. Nah, it's too expensive. It's 10 years of this though. Ouch. Now I have, oh, estates dilemma demand control of a province. So that's something I need to take care of. Let's have a look at the province meme thingy. What is it? That's development estate. Here we go. So the Ulema demand more provinces. Let's have a look. Who could I give you? I guess I could give you some of these newer ones, maybe. Here's a good one. You demand even more. My God, your greed knows no bounds. At least 15. I don't want to give you 15% of my nation. What if I gave you Qatar? Qatar's a gems place. I don't want to give you a gems place. What if I gave you this crappy, these crappy little provinces? Yeah, you can have these crappy ones. How does that feel? Is that nice? Are you happy now? You like the crappy provinces? Yeah, okay, buddy. Bye-bye. Okay. So, my Sultan Kerman entered a military alliance with our Mazandaran. Bohemian crystals. Ah, for centuries, Venetian glass has dominated the glassmaking scene. This is Brandenburg gains 15 prestige and the price of glass changes. And they gain plus two base production and plus two base tax. God damn. Doing really good over there. Whatever's going on over here. Whatever they're making glass. How do I trade goods? Glass, salt. 
it was one of these provinces. Oh, who knows what it is. But they're making glass. Here's glass. Oh, here we go. Airs. So bohemian glass. Hmm, very nice. Good work, Bob. Good work, Brandenburg. Yeah, I'm kind of... My heart isn't really in this war. I'm going to be honest here. Uh-oh. While they are quite new to our society, the use of stimulants such as coffee and tobacco has spread quickly, with coffee houses now a common feature in Thais to Bahrain. The popularity is especially marked among Sufi orders. The novelty of these substances means that the religious establishment is divided on their proper use. Many strict legalists want us to limit the use, while others argue for caution, as both coffee and tobacco are very popular in our state. The local governor for Katif and now have to be turned to hide Thais. I will do this Legalism. We are being full legalism. Full legalism. That's actually that's actually a really fun phrase to say. Full legalism. Yes, absolute full legalism. Oh oh. Tobacco has become increasingly popular in both the Christian and Muslim world for recreation prices. Aha, so the price of tobacco has increased. Now, Adal. Adal, 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 Adal. Let's talk, buddy. Alright, let's uh have a look at the old fabric. I definitely want a Gaza. Gaza. Yoink. Right, we're going to take Gaza. Can I fabricate a claim? No, I need more points. Let's talk to Adal. Adal, your provinces look very, very tasty. I want a Saab. Car, preferably. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Uh, Saabs are crap cars. Please feel free to kill me in the comments. I uh, got him. Uh, the conquest of Cain, Adal. We come with a population of fires. We now control the province. Uh-oh. I suppose we do have the ability to siege here. This guy has a siege pip and some artillery. So, I mean, it's not a bad move here. So, we'll go ahead and blow this up. Mm, we've got eight artillery. Damn, we blow these we blow these forts away pretty quick. All right. -y. I mean, I know we're at war, but this is an extremely chill war. I'm not even really planning to contribute much. I mean, I'm doing a little bit. I'm doing enough to be something. Ooh, three army professionalism. Now that's a nice boost. I think you get this if you're drilling during war, which is really, really powerful because I can get you up really highly. So it might even be worth it to just have like a bit of your army drilling if you're in some easy wars. I can invest in technology. I would like to invest in Diplotech, but I don't think I need to. I think I would be far better served by doing a little bit of purchasing here. Let's have a look at some of the values of... Thingies. Now, I was going to invest in Qatar, wasn't I? So it would be good to check if the university... The university has been built, so it's very cheap here to invest. And you know what we might even do? We might even go and slot in the uh, local development cost boost and go even further down. Oh, development efficiency affects the base cost. Oh, damn, that's really powerful. So we're going to invest a little bit of Diplo power here. Um, monthly income, this will give you trade value, local goods produced, and some other good stuff. Okay, that's Qatar invested into. I'll put a point into Misawa. And into Taiz. God damn, I put a lot of I put a lot of manpower in Taiz. But yeah, there you go. I mean I could do another point. I could probably do another point, no problem here. I should really wait until the next institution appears before I'm doing this. Because it's a bit of a waste. We almost have global trade at a level where it's pretty cheap to embrace. Oh god, it gets more expensive. My word. That's scary. Probably because I just boosted all my development. But yeah, I don't mind this one coming in on its own because it's a relatively... It's coming in pretty quick, like, in a lot of places. You know. Like, it's spreading. I would say this is spreading reasonably fast. I'll just wait. I don't need to embrace it. 
maybe once it hits like around 25%, maybe that's, oh god, my mouse. Maybe when it hits around like 25% of my, um, of attack penalty, then I'll maybe go for it. But for now, yeah, you know, just leave it. Yeah, just leave it. Alright, we're doing a bit of sieging here to keep things going. And it might actually be a good idea here to put a cut in the video. So I'm going to call you guys... Blah, 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 blah. I'm going to say thank you very much for watching. Hope you guys are enjoying this series. Please remember to uh, subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. Remember to leave a like if you want to directly support my channel. And remember to leave a comment if you want to give me your feedback. Other than that, though, I want to say I love you all very much. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.